part two jersey collection video. We did one a few years back, and we're back with another one. We got a Team USA Mike Ruzioni jersey from the 1980 Olympics and the Miracle on Ice. Backside with his name and number, number 21. The... On to the NHL part of the collection. The Tampa Bay Lightning are my favorite team. Here's their inaugural season jersey, but this one has the 2004 Stanley Cup patch on it from the team's first cup against the Calgary Flames. Next one is the road jersey from our first jersey set. Same design, just in white. On the patch, we got a 1999 All-Star patch, which was the first one the Lightning hosted. Lightning's second jersey in their franchise. It is the new logo that they had. Because it's Steven Stamkos, who wasn't our captain yet when he wore this, but he did get drafted and played his first few seasons in this jersey. This is the road jersey of that same era with that logo. This one is a Reebok. This one has the Tampa Bay logo in the middle with that sparkle that they used to have. This is the first Bolts alternate that they did with the Bolts script across the front. As you can see, it has the, this one has the 07 to 11 uh, logo on the shoulders, but they also had one with the current logo on the shoulders. On the bottom, it says Tampa Bay, and it has the victory stripes on underneath the cuffs of the arms. There's a lot going on in this jersey. We got the other alternate, which is the black version of the Bolts made by the newly designed Reebok. As you can see, you got that different Reebok logo at the top. Onto the Adidas portion of hockey. This is a Tampa Bay Lightning practice jersey with a 2020 Stanley Cup patch over there on the top. Okay, now we got the Adidas home Tampa Bay Lightning jersey with a 2021 Stanley Cup Finals patch. This one, we on the back, we have Braden Point. Now we got the road Adidas version, which is the white. This one has a 2020 Stanley Cup Finals patch on it. On the back of this one is our goalie, Andre Vasilevsky, squeezed in there. And here is our Adidas black alternate, which was the black and silver gradient. They called it, I think, Disrupt the Night. It has the 2022 Stanley Cup Finals patch. On the back here is Mikhail Sergachev with the cool thing about the number kits. Got the gradient going in through the numbers. And here we got the Reverse Retro 1.0. These ones kicked it back to the 04 era. This one has a 2020-2021 Stanley Cup Champs patch. Uh, that's because we this was the year we won it. And here we have Reverse Retro 2.0, which brought back the 1997 Storm jersey. As you can see, there is a whole lot going on. We got, I believe, either lightning or flames on the side. We got a wave coming in at the bottom. We got rain coming down. We got that nice old logo with the shine in the middle. The number kit is also pretty wild. The numbers are cool with the some sort of wavy design. The wave continues on the bottom. This one has Steven Stamkos on it. And this one is from the 2022 NHL Stadium Series. They added a nice like sparkle and design to the shoulder patch and to the name and number. These next two are going to be all-star jerseys that I went to, so I got the jersey. This one was from 2018, which was actually in Tampa Bay, hosted at Amelie Arena. This was the first year they did the three on three, so there's four teams. This was the Atlantic Division's jersey. On the back is Nikita Kucherov, who had a hat trick in one of the games. And in the numbers, it is the uh, Tampa Bay Skyway Bridge design. This one was from this year's All-Star game in South Florida, home of the Florida Panthers. This one was a really clean design because it was also part of like the reverse retro package from the 1994 All-Star game. And it says Eastern Conference on the front. It's got like that star from the Dallas Stars old jerseys. It gives us like a Miami Vice colorway with the mint numbers, which look really cool. This one was Andre Vasilevsky. On to the soccer part of the video. I don't watch a ton of soccer, but we do watch the Tampa Bay Rowdies here. And this is one of the, which was the jersey they wore when I first started watching games. It is made by Admiral, which I have no clue, honestly what that brand is. 
This one is actually a game used jersey that they auctioned off. Uh, somebody named Morris. I think it was Robert Morris. Uh, this is back when they played in the NASL, the Nassau. The Rowdies did eventually switch to uh, Nike as their brand, and this is a yellow jersey, one of their alternates. On the back is one of our old defenders named Chavez, number 13. Now we got the classic Rowdies home kit with the green and gold stripes. This is the Nike one. This is their like throwback jersey, the 7510 jersey, as you can see on the logo there. Uh, they wear it as like an alternate on the road. Plain white back, uh, the USL championship patch. Now we got the USA, I think this is the men's and the women's national team's uh, warm-up jersey with the tie-dye features and the Volkswagen sponsor across the chest. We got the USA 2022 World Cup Qatar. This is the road kit with the black and the blue. Last soccer jersey, this is uh, one I got in Rome. It is a Roma jersey. They were selling these all over the area. On the back, Toady number 10. This one is actually a Tampa Bay Rays soccer jersey. This was a giveaway promotion the team did this season. And on the back of this jersey, they did Randy a Rosarena. Now we're on to the baseball part, and we have a Florida State Seminoles baseball jersey. This would be their garment alternate jersey. We have the 2019 Men's College World Series patch on there and the Florida State Seminole Head logo on the other sleeve. We got another Knowles jersey. This one is like their cream or gold alternate. Now we're on to the Tampa Bay Rays jersey part of this. I have a lot of Rays jerseys, so just be aware. First one up is a Tampa Bay Devil Rays 1998 inaugural season jersey. With on the <laughs> back we have just the number nine. Won this one on eBay for a good deal and then added the cool inaugural season patch. The original Tampa Bay Double Rays, their road jersey with the Tampa Bay across the front. Um, this one is actually a player and team issued jersey. This is pretty much the only way you can get this jersey because they're so hard to find. On the back has this guy, Bellitz. Don't know who he is, but I like the black with the purple trim. It looks really nice. Next up, we have the Devil Rays. This was their first alternate, but I think it started as a batting practice jersey. With the, it, This is their black alternate with just rays across the front. On the back of this one is Wade Boggs, who was just inducted into the Rays Hall of Fame this season. Now we're into the first Rays rebrand, which is the green and blue sort of era. This is a spring training jersey that the Rays had. This one has the old school Stingray patch on it. And the home jersey for this era was this white and green jersey. The sleeves were green, but it was actually a vest. This one isn't a vest technically, but it, it is. It has the devil ray coming across the front, just like the old ones, but now it is in green and in a different font. On the back is Rocco Baldelli, number five. And here's that same jersey, but this one doesn't have the sleeves, so this is just the player-issued, team-issued jersey. Here's the back without the sleeves. There's no name on this one, but just the number seven. Uh, you could see the number kit they had on these. And in 2004, they tweaked it just a bit to this. They took off the Devil Ray across the front, have it just raised. So they have a patch here now, but other than that, it was just the same. Back of this one is Rocco Baldelli, and the number kit looks pretty much the same as the last one. Now they have, this is the Rogue jersey from the Green Era. This one's very hard to find. Uh, Tampa Bay across the front in the green lettering. Stingray patch here. The 10th anniversary patch on the other sleeve. Now the Rays rebranded here. They went from the Devil Rays to just the Rays. This was their home jersey. And they did this in 2008. And right when we did, we made the World Series. There's a 2008 World Series patch on this one. And the Rays stuck with navy blue for the back. And James Shields is on the back of this jersey. Here is a fake throwback fox bag, I believe they call these. Um, since they didn't bring back the Devil Rays as a throwback, they wore these a couple times. It has Tampa Bay Rays in an interesting font. I believe that's like an orange or a citrus in between the A. On the sleeve, they have a City of St. Petersburg, Florida logo patch. And they really brought out some yellow in this jersey. And I have Scott Casimir on the back of this one. This one was the other Foxback jerseys. Uh, this was a fan giveaway that the Rays gave out. They wore this one a few times as well, at home and on the road. 
On the back was Evan Longoria, who walked off the Oakland A's in these jerseys one time. Here's the Tampa Bay Rays 2017 and 2018 Players Weekend jersey. This really speaks to Players Weekend because it's big, bold, and bright. Yellow and the light blue pops really well. You can see at the top the MLB Players Weekend logo. And here we have the 2019 Players Weekend jersey. They went from all color to no color. The Rays had this white jersey uh, with silver accents across the front. This one's actually team issued and game used. On the back is the player nicknamed Woody, which was a guy named Woodson, was a relief pitcher on the team. Now we're into the majestic cool base era with a 2018 spring training jersey, uh, but they wore it, they wear it in spring training every year since Majestic has done these cool base jerseys with the Starburst logo. On the back is Kevin Kiermeyer. This one has like the number kit with all like the spring training little logos in it, but now it's just the normal navy blue and white. And now we have the Majestic cool base home jersey. Uh, with the 2019 postseason patch. On the back was Willie Adamas, our shortstop, who's now in the Brewers, who had the epic relay in game four in the home whites. Now we have the majestic cool base. This is the navy blue alternate jersey with the MLB 150 patch that they wore in 2019. On the back is Joey Wendell, who is one of my favorite players, who is now on the Miami Marlins. Now we have a nice stitched road Tampa Bay Rays jersey, the road gray, with the 20. 18 20th anniversary logo patch and stingray patch on this side on the back is our manager kevin cash who had his first big season really good season in that 20th anniversary and finally in the 20th anniversary season the rays brought back the double race throwbacks for a couple games now we mlb Jerseys are taken over by Nike, so around that part of the collection. And this is the Tampa Bay Devil Rays throwback jersey that they now have for this year with the 25th anniversary patch. On the back, the purple letters are back, and I have Brandon Lau on this one, number eight. Now we have a authentic <laughs> Nike jersey for the Tampa Bay Rays. This one was pulled out of a mystery grab bag that they sell at the Authentic store. So this is stitched. This one is a relief pitcher, Javi Guerra, Guerra. <laughs> <laughs> number 25, it's stitched like I said with the patch. Now we have the replica Nike jersey, the home white once again. This one is the 2020 World Series jersey. On the back of this one is Randy Rosarena who burst onto the scene in that 2020 postseason. One more white replica Nike jersey. This one is just one that they gave to season ticket holders for free. Now we have our old, now old Sunday jersey, uh, the Columbia Blue with the rays across the front with the Stingray patch on the side. Now here's our current alternate Columbia Blue jersey with just the Starburst logo on it. I don't like it. I like the rays ones better, but it is what it is. On the back of this one is Sugar Shane McClanahan, who unfortunately just went down with injury though. Now we have the Nike version of the navy blue alternate with the blue piping and it's pretty much the same. Now this one is an authentic navy blue alternate jersey that they that you that I bought at FanFest and they have a bunch of jerseys at FanFest game use for like 20 to 50 bucks depending on the player. On the back of this one is actually our first base coach, Harrison Prieto, <laughs> number 31. I got this one because they were running out of jerseys, and this one was actually my size, so it was a good, good deal. Now here's our Nike gray jersey. Uh, the Rays no longer wear these, as Nike has that new rule where you can't have however many so jerseys, so they took, got rid of the gray. No, nothing on this one, but rest in peace to the gray Rays jersey. We have, like, this is a concept jersey what it would look like if it said Tampa Bay on the road jersey. So that's what it would look like. Um, I put a different patch on it just for fun. And I even screen printed a Nike logo over there. So don't copyright me. On the back of this one is a Tyler Glass now. This one was a giveaway from this year. This is a Tampa Bay Rays soccer jersey. Uh, on the back of this one is Randy Rosarena, who was the promotional player for that day. This is the 2021 MLB All-Star Game jersey from Colorado. This was the first year Nike took over All-Star jerseys, and this is the first year they didn't do American National on jerseys. And this is what they came up with. 
and it's something. <laughs> Back of this one was one of the Rays All Stars, Joey Wendell, with like that cream number kit, with the drop shadow with the red. And this one is the 2022 MLB All Star jersey from LA. This one is a fake. I wasn't able to get a real one because Fanatics sold out too fast on the Rays jerseys. So, yeah. On the back is Shane McClanahan, who was the AL starting pitcher for that year, is the 2023 MLB All-Star jersey from this year in Seattle. Uh, they had American back on the front, which I really like. They put the Rays logo on this side. The design in it with the colors looks really cool. I really liked it. On the back is Yanni Diaz, who is the Rays' first baseman. He got the start for the AL in this game, and he homered for them as well. This one here is a Tampa Tarpons jersey, which is a minor league team in the area, and they gave these out on Fan Appreciation Night. Now we have a famous Savannah Bananas jersey. This one was the best one they had in their store when we went to Savannah during spring break last year. Got the Angry Banana Man down there. And on the back, <laughs> really cool to have the state of the Georgia outline in between where the number is. The Bananas rival, the Macon Bacon, has just as cool jerseys themselves. They got the Bacon Dude here, the Coastal Plains patch here. But the best part about this jersey was that the number is a piece of bacon. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's genius. Here we have a Milwaukee Brewers. This is their cream alternate jersey. Shout out to the cream jerseys of the world. It's got Brewers across the front with the gold pop. Their side patch here. And on the back was the former Ray, Willie Adames. Here we have an authentic movie throwback from the movie Major League with the Cleveland Indians here across the front in the 99, which means this jersey is Rick Wild Thing Vaughn from the movie Major League. This is the first City Connect jersey in my collection. My dad and my uncle and my grandpa, they're all from Chicago and they grew up White Sox fans. So we root for the White Sox, and I absolutely love this jersey when it came out with the south side across the front and the pinstripes and then, like, the design on the inside. <laughs> on the back is Eloy Jim Jimenez. Um, this was super, this jersey was so hard to get. We went to Chicago two straight years at games, and they didn't have them, but on the last game, they had one left in the team store, so we were able to pick it up. And here's the White Sox 86 throwback jerseys with the Sox across the front. This would be when my dad grew up watching them. So this is a special jersey to our family. It's got socks across the front. Absolute beautiful throwback, one of the best in the league. Staying in Chicago, we have a Cubs jersey. Uh, this one has the 2016 World Series, one of the best World Series I've ever watched. And the National League patch that they wore on the other sleeve. This is their alternate blue jersey, the one they clinched in in that World Series. This one we just picked up when I went to PNC Park this summer. It's a Pittsburgh Pirates black alternate. My high school team was the Pirates and had that same P logo, so it's kind of cool to see and get this one. Now we have a San Francisco Giants jersey here. Uh, we went there two summers ago. Has the Giants patch on this side and the 2014 World Series champions patch there. On the back of this one was their longtime catcher, Buster Posey, who also played at Florida State. Here's another authentic jersey here. This one is the Oakland A's. This is their Kelly Green jerseys. Got this in Oakland last year. And now it's going to be a pretty special one soon because it says Oakland. They're probably going to move to Vegas. So back here is Blackham. Don't know who it is, but I love the elephant dude here. And I love the yellow accents. A Los Angeles Angels jersey. I got this after our Cali trip. So I was unfortunate, but here's their red jersey with their patch on this side. And on the back is Mike Trout, one of the best in baseball. I got this on eBay. This is a real jersey for like 50 bucks, so it was a really good deal. Got another City Connect jersey here with the Arizona Diamondbacks, Serpientes across the front. I think the D-backs have some of the best colors and jerseys in MLB. I like this one because the colors remind me of FSU here. D-backs jersey, D-backs logo in black. David Peralta, and when I bought this, he just got traded to the Rays, so all his D-backs jerseys were like 50% off. Now we have a Atlanta Braves jersey. We have friends in Atlanta, and we always go to a Braves game, try and go to one once every summer. 
This is their red alternate jersey, which I believe is their best. Team USA. This is the WBC jersey that they had this year. USA across the front. American flag patch there. Name on the back of this one, but the top has the WBC logo. On to football. We have a 1995 Florida State Seminoles Garnet Home jersey. Derek Brooks, number 10. Um, you can see Brooks, number 10, right there. Now we have a white old school Florida State jersey, 1993 Federal Express Orange Bowl from the national championship year. Um, this one has our Heisman winning quarterback, championship winning quarterback, Charlie Ward, number 17. Now here is our 1999 national championship winning jersey with the 2000 Sugar Bowl patch on the sleeve. Number four is this jersey. This is just the Garnet jersey. Here's our last national championship jersey. This one is from the 2014 BCS national championship from Pasadena. Got the ACC patch on this one. This one's number 80, which would have been Rashad Green that year. Uh, Okay, then the Knolls rebranded into this design with this tribal pattern. This is the stitched version, so because it has the unconquered at the top, this is stitched on. We got the ACC football patch on the sleeve. This one is Dalvin Cook. This one is another Garnet jersey, but they changed to the white numbers in a white ACC patch there. This one was from last year's Cheez It Bowl in Orlando. Now we have the redesign. This is the away white jersey with the same tribal pattern, same everything, ACC patch on there. Now we have the Knolls black alternate. Uh, they didn't wear these very often, but I did like them. And here's actually one of the new Knolls jerseys that they just came out with this past April. Gonna use the new Vapor Fuse model. Uh, they went with a more minimal design this year. They still have the pattern, but it's just here, no, no longer all over the sleeve. They cut the patch off there. This is the Florida State Seminoles, Seminole Heritage uh, football jersey. Now, this isn't going to be worn on the field yet, but they released it to fans. Now we have the USF Bulls, South Florida. They play local, they would say probably the most local team college-wise. They play up in Tampa. They have the Bulls logo here, green and gold. Pretty solid look for them. Now we have a Tampa Bay Bucks cream sickle jerseys, one of the originals from 1995. This one's Mitchell and Ness. This one is Derek Brooks. We have the Bucks rebrand when they went to red. And this is the 2002 Super Bowl jersey, Super Bowl 37, where we beat the Oakland Raiders. They have the pirate ship on this side, NFL equipment there. And Keyshawn Johnson's on the back of this one, one of the wide receivers from that Super Bowl team. Now this is when Nike took over. Same kind of design, just with Nike. On the back is Levante David, linebacker number 54. Now we have the Bucks went and did a rebrand, and it was these. The alarm clock numbers, interesting jerseys for sure. This is uh, Jameis Winston, his rookie year. It would have been the 40th anniversary season, so we got that patch on. They had the new pirate ship, orange stripes. There was a lot going on in this jersey. Different patch on this side that said Bucks. Here's the back, Winston, number three. Here is the road white version of the alarm clock jerseys. This one is Devin White on a white jersey, number 45. And the NFL did a color rush jersey. This is the Bucks color rush. They did all red with the pewter numbers. This one was the only jersey of this era that people actually liked. This is a limited jersey, so it's stitched. This one has Mike Evans on it, number 13. So then the Bucks rebranded, and they basically just went back to their old ones with the updated logos. So the same pirate ship is back on both sleeves. New Buccaneers font, uh, same color red. On the back of this one is Chris Godwin, who moved from 12 to number 14. Now we have another limited jersey with the stitched. This one is a Super Bowl 55 patch, the one we won in Tampa. That's the flex chrome patch. That's like the official one. This is uh, the cool ordeal. This jersey is Antoine Winfield Jr. who threw up the pieces to 
Tyree Kill, and a Bucks iconic Super Bowl moment. Now we have the rebrand to the white jersey, and number 12 is Tom Brady. Super Bowl patch on the side. To the back, TB12. The current Bucks color rush slash alternate. It is a pewter jersey now. On the back is Mike Evans. Now we have the newest alternate slash throwback coming back this year. It's the cream sickle. This one just came in. This is the new paper fuse jersey. Back is Vita Vea. The Bucks will debut the cream sickle jerseys against the Detroit Lions. A couple Bucks fashion jerseys. When you make the Super Bowl, they always do a fashion jersey. This one is a black one with the Super Bowl patch on it. On the back of this one was Big Gronk, Rob Gronkowski, number 87. Last Bucks, <laughs> last Bucks jersey is this gray fashion jersey of Tom Brady. I got this for my birthday one year. We have a Cleveland Browns um, brown jersey. Um, this is a stitched one with the orange on it. On the back is Baker Mayfield, who when I bought this was a free agent and now He's on the Tampa Bay Bucks, so. The Jacksonville Jaguars home black jersey with the Jaguar over the top. Which means this is former Seminole Jalen Ramsey, who is no longer on the Jaguars, though. Now we have a San Francisco 49er 75th anniversary throwback jersey. These were all on sale when we went and visited San Francisco on vacation last year. The back here is Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy G. Now we have a Los Angeles Rams Super Bowl 56 uh, jersey with that patch on there. This is the jersey they won the Super Bowl, which was their modern throwback. Because this one was former Noel Cam Akers. Starting off basketball, we got a North Carolina jersey here. That would be Michael Jordan in the Carolina blue. Now we have a old school Florida State jersey. This is number 12 with the Florida and the State. Ward, who won the Heisman, won a championship for the football team, and also played basketball as well. Now we have the current Florida State Seminoles garnet jersey. We have the gold Florida State basketball jersey. This one says Seminoles on it. Has the ACC patch, the American flag patch. This one was number 14, Terrence Mann. Now we have a, another basketball jersey. This one is the black one. We always wear these in March Madness, it feels like when we make it. So now we have the very popular N7 turquoise blue jerseys that represents the Native American heritage in the Seminole tribe. Into the NBA, our favorite team is the Bulls, as we mentioned earlier with the whole Chicago thing. This is a champion jersey from back in the day. It is Dennis Rodman. Now we have a full sleeve Bulls gray alternate. In the back is Jimmy Butler. Now we have the Bulls' current red swingman jersey. Back is Patrick Williams, who was drafted by the Bulls, fourth overall, and he played at Florida State. Now we got the white home jersey with the sponsor patch, Zenny Eyewear. There's another swingman jersey. On the back is Lori Markinen, who is no longer on the Bulls. Here's the Bulls. It's either classic or statement edition. I don't remember what they call them now. Um, with the pinstripes. On the back is Zach Levine. Bulls 2021 City Connect jersey. Uh, it represents some theater in Chicago. Has no little plans. I like the gold design here. And on the numbers. On the back is Kobe White. And I got this at the Madhouse Team Store at the United Center. This is 2022 City Connect. With that old Chicago script across the front. On the back of this one is Lonzo Ball. And I'm waiting for him to come back from injury. This is a Giannis Antetokounmpo Greece jersey. Um, I got this in Greece on a cruise ship. There's his name and number on the back. There's the Greece flag. Uh, only international jersey we got. One of the best looking designs in the NBA is the throwback Raptors. On the back is Kyle Lowry. And we had to get this one because we Toronto Raptors played in Tampa at Emily Arena and we went to a game. Here we have a Utah Jazz City Connect, the Sunset jersey. On the back of this one is Donovan Mitchell. We have the iconic Miami Vice jerseys. This is the light blue one. 
I love the pink outline and the Miami lettering. The back of this one, there's that former bull, Jimmy Butler, who now plays the Miami Heat. We have a classic Golden State Warriors Steph Curry jersey. I feel like every basketball fan my age enjoyed watching Steph Curry, so you gotta have a jersey of him. There's the classic Curry and 30 on the back. And to finish off the video, one last jersey. This is a Tampa Bay Devil Rays basketball jersey. They gave it away last year. Here's the design they went with. On the back is Brett Phillips. And it was funny, they traded him literally like a week after they gave this jersey out. Okay, that's the end of the video. Goodbye, jerseys.